you have to pack this. This has to go in your, your packed bag. We're not gonna play with it now. Hey Explorers, Kid the Explorer here. Today we're with my special guest, Bailey. So we're gonna go in his travel bag and get ready for a road trip because every year for Christmas, we travel up north to Cleveland, Ohio to see my family. And this year is a little different because we're not having like our typical Christmas dinner, but um, we're going to go up there. We've been in quarantine for two weeks and we took COVID, well, we, you're always in quarantine. And I took a COVID test. You did not, which was negative to make sure I don't take anything to my family. So I will have my all of my supplies that I have for a road trip. I'm gonna take you with me, get a glimpse of the road up I-75 with my buddy in tow. So before we get into his travel bag, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell right next to it so you're notified when all of my videos are released. Videos are released every Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern time and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Now let's get into his travel bag. So here's his travel bag. He takes this bag everywhere. Whenever he goes to the resort and when I'm traveling around the globe or friend's house, he uses this bag for everything. He even knows this is his travel bag. As soon as he sees me get this out of the box, he's like, oh, I'm going somewhere. Yes, party, let me get in the car. But not yet. That's it, tomorrow, tomorrow. So let's see what's in his travel bag. First of all, you have to have bowls. Bowls. <laughs> this is one of his water bowls. He has two, so um, I need to wipe it out a little bit. But take a water bowl. Um, he may need water. Your dog may need water in the car, but definitely will need water when he gets to his destination. You don't have to want to worry about supplies or relying on others, either a hotel, family, or whatever, to have dog supplies. So this is his water bowl and he's high maintenance. I did have a dog water bottle and he doesn't like it. So he only drinks out of his own water bowl. He also has a food bowl, but there's only one of those. So he needs to use it tonight and in the morning and that will go in the bag as well. So the next thing, I just have a baggie, a sandwich baggie here because this is what I put his food in. I get him a huge bag of food that I don't want to lug around. So I put his food into baggies for each of his meals and then I recycle the bags afterwards. And also I don't wanna carry the measuring cup to make sure I'm giving him the right amount of food. But of course you wanna have food. You don't wanna to have to go to the pet store once you arrive somewhere to buy dog food. And if you're driving for a long time, you may need to give your dog food along the way. What else is in your bag? Huh? He's so into the bag, like he's not paying attention. So another thing he takes, he has like these donated like old sweaters and t-shirts. They're actually his blankets and he chews on them. He lays on them, he sleeps with them. So he has, he's taking one in the car and then one for once he gets there, um, just to make sure he has a piece of home with him. He also has to take toys. He has a whole toy basket. See, now he's like really into this. He has a whole toy basket. And these are two of his phase. He has to have two at least because he likes to rotate playing with them, but he'll have a toy in the car and then he'll have both of these toys once we get to where we're going. So yeah, he's gonna, you have to pack this. This has to go in your, your packed bag. We're not gonna play with it now. But anyway, so some things I don't have with me right now is his boots because it is expected to snow up there and we haven't been in the snow for years. So he'll have his boots, um, but that has to go in a separate bag because he does use them for the rain. They're more rain boots and they're kind of dirty. So I'll put those in another bag. He'll also have his tuxedo for Christmas day and maybe a Christmas sweater to wear in the car tomorrow. Um, also in the car, you'll see that, and that's already set up. So that's why it's not here, but he has like, I call it a big dog basket and it basically covers the whole seat because my car is le has, he's taking the ball from me. Uh, <laughs> my car has leather seats and I don't want his nails to punch, puncture the leather. Um, so there, it's a big basket. It also comes with a seat belt to make sure he's strapped in. And also it collects hair because he is a golden retriever and he sheds all over the place. With that said, make sure you carry a brush if your dog sheds because they need brushing on a regular basis. Oh, and make sure we have some treats. But I don't want to say that too loud. He knows what that word means. He, I think he already heard me because he's staring at me because he wants one. 
So I will see you in the morning. Make sure you get your rest because we're going to hit the road. I'm going to take you up I-75 to Ohio and show you some things along the way. So let's hit the road. See you in the morning. So after recording the prior scene, I decided to just go ahead and pack up the car with stuff I didn't need, like Christmas gifts. <laughs> see you in the morning. Hey everyone, so it is the next morning. We are loaded up and ready to go. So it'll be quite interesting because in the past I used to use rest uh, restaurants, uh, go to restaurants, use the restroom, but those are currently closed due to pandemic. So I'll be stopping strategically along the way. It is 8 a.m. I'm leaving an hour later than planned, but hey, it took forever to get loaded up. And I don't know if you saw Bailey, but he's back there. He's laying down hope you can see him <laughs> but all right he's strapped in in his seat belt and ready to go so let's hit the road all right we just crossed the georgia tennessee borderline and let's keep on up i-75 all right we've made it to our first stop in knoxville tennessee at target i really have to use the restroom but i'm gonna go in there stretch my legs and then fill up the gas not much gas been used but still i'm not gonna stop again until i get to around uh, lexington kentucky so let's go in target it is crazy in here all right florence y'all that's what that little water tower says that's when i know i'm getting ready to cross into ohio into Cincinnati. And this will be the last part of the road you will see because it gets dark and you won't be able to see anything on the road. But it took us about 11 hours to get to Cleveland with stops. We made it, Bailey. You ready to get out of here, huh? And hang out. All right, if you enjoyed this video and learning what you need for your dog's road trip, make sure you hit the like button Please leave any questions or comments you have down below in the comment box. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are.